Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Bible Talk from the Green Room. Revelation in 31 days. Today is day number 14 of 31, and we're going to be in Revelation 9 for the most part today. Thanks for joining us. When we start the study today, the last seal of the seven sealed scroll contains two judgments. First is the seven trumpets, and the second is the, second, is the seven vials or bowls of wrath. In the last session, we learned the fifth trumpet was the first of three woes. When the fifth trumpet sounded, a fallen star, which is Satan, uh, was given the key to the bottomless pit of the abyss. When Satan opened the door, evil spirits, uh, beings, were loosened to torment unbelievers on the earth. As the fifth judgment of the fifth trumpet uh, which is chapter 9, 1 to 12, and the sound of the sixth trumpet, another judgment is unleashed on the earth. And John sees, uh, when we get to, to 9, verses 13 to 21, when the sixth angel blows the trumpet, John hears a voice from the four horns of the golden altar before God. The golden altar is the original altar of incense. In the Old Testament, the altar of incense was overlaid with gold and had four horns, one on each corner. This replica was constructed according to the original in heaven, which God allowed Moses to see while on Mount Sinai. And then it goes down and says, since they are bound, these fallen angels or demons, it refers back to Jude 6. The expression of the great river Euphrates occurs several times in the Old Testament. It's mar it marked the eastern boundary of the promised land during the reign of King Solomon. You can look in 1 Kings 4 and verse 21 there. It symbolically marks the boundary between good and evil or between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. So when these fallen angels are released here, the gates of hell are open. Now, I'm going to tell you, go look in Matthew 16, 18. And what does Jesus say about his church in the last phrase of that verse there the loosening of these fallen angels is precisely timed uh, at the hour the day the month and the year they'll be released to kill a third of mankind at the opening of the fourth seal one fourth of the population of the world was killed therefore these two judgments alone will result in death of approximately one half of the world's population that fulfills daniel's prophecy that there will be a time of trouble such as never been since and a nation until the end of time. Look at Daniel 12, 1. And John sees an immense army. And look and see how he describes it here in verse 9 through 16. John describes the army's horses as wearing breastplates the color of fire and sapphire and sulfur. And the heads of the horses were like lion's heads. And fire and smoke and sulfur came out of their mouths. These are obviously not literal horses, but could be a little description in ancient times of modern warfare with tanks and maybe mechanized armor. Armor. The word plagues, when you look in, in 920, is used in the book of Revelation to describe destructive judgments. Those who are not killed by these plagues at the sounding of the sixth trumpet do not represent uh, the works of the hands nor giving up worshiping demons and idols of gold and silver and bronze and stone and wood, which cannot see, hear, or walk. When I dig into my, my other note here, uh, it says, uh, Christmas message through Revelation 9. It says, you're in heaven when Revelation 9 happens, if you are a Christian. Talks about the fifth and the sixth trumpet judgment as we went over the first and the second woe. Um, then, when we look at the seventh, that's going to be in Revelation 11. The fifth judgment, fallen star, person, maybe Lucifer, Satan. Then it talks about demonic locusts and torment for five months. These demonic locusts, they're from the shaft at the bottom of hell and they torment people. The people will want to die in this time, but they can't through there. And they look like, the locusts look like horses, and they sting like scorpions, says they're very large. And they're led by Apollonian, and that is one who destroys. And then it talks about dynamic, demonic legions, the sixth judgment, the second woe, third of mankind killed, the three plagues, fire, smoke, and sulfur. It talks about 
Babylon, which is modern day in, in Iraq there, the Euphrates River, which is near the Garden of Eden. And it talks about the 200 million demons. Then it goes on in verse 20 and talks about demonic lies and the rest of mankind just didn't repent. And failure to repent is a choice that people make. Thank you for turning in uh, today for, for Lesson 14. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Lesson 15 will be in Revelation 10, talking about the angel and the little scroll. Y'all have a good day.